Today's Tuesday the 10th of October and we are starting a new vlog. I have not been on YouTube all summer. Honestly, I've just been enjoying. In August I went to Anguilla, then I came back and in September I went to Chicago and New York. And not this weekend just gone, but the weekend before. I went to Barcelona and that brings us to now. I did not vlog any of it. Um, honestly because I have just been living and enjoying my summer I'm either vlogging or I'm enjoying and all of those trips were about enjoying myself my family my friends my business partner so here we are I'm having my coffee delicious and I'm also drinking some water with a supplement in it which I will show you so, I've been having it every morning for about two weeks and I have to say it really does help with my digestion bloating and that stuff what's been going on apart from travel I have been feeling a little bit out of sorts um, I think I mentioned in the last video that like I'm at a point where I need to like figure out what I'm gonna do next and so I've reached the kind of decision on what I'm gonna do going forward and I just need to mobilize and get it done I'm feeling really good about it I'm positive whereas before it always felt a bit daunting and a bit like I was going against my goals and my visions but actually this is just going to help me get closer to my goals and my visions so sorry for being a bit cryptic it is what it is today is a beautiful day it's the 10th of October and it's 23 degrees this weekend we had 25 degrees this is kind of alarming yeah I, I have no idea what this vlog is going to entail but hopefully it will be interesting for you guys it feels good to be back on the camera and um let's get into it you know let's see what happens What? Oh, careful boy. All right, gang, it is 1.30. I've been working all morning, plugging away on onboarding Cyport onto a platform. And I'm finally making tracks. So I have a sweet tooth right now and I'm really craving like cookies but I don't want to make like 10,000 cookies I just want like a couple you know a couple so I'm following this recipe from Broma Bakery the only thing I've done differently because I love that like caramel toffee toasty flavor it's going in now and in this bowl I've just got Two different types of sugar, vanilla extra, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. It's such a nice day outside. I'm kind of regretting not going to Soho House, but at the same time, when I'm there, I spend so much money, which is obviously the, the, the plan. That's the purpose of these types of places. So I decided to stay home today, be with Bori, who you just saw. He is our neighbor's cat. We are looking after him for a few weeks. Um, he lives literally right next door. Like our front doors are together. So I just open it, go check on him, do his tray, feed him. Well, I also bring him in as you saw, but I am allergic to cats. I did have a cat my most of my childhood, but I am allergic to them. So I can bring him in for a little while and then unfortunately have to take him back. But usually by the time I'm ready to take him back, he's ready to roll. So that is, Alice Goot. Let me show you the cookies. 
So, so far in here, it's just packed brown sugar, caster sugar, pinch of salt, vanilla, and butter. And then I'm gonna chop up some chocolate that I have and just put a few tablespoons of flour in. It's a really good recipe because it gives you like six cookies rather than like 24 or 12. So I can have, you know, a couple and not feel too guilty. <laughs> because one thing about me, if it's sweet, I'm gonna eat it. This is like my compromise and I don't make them too often. We're a little bit questionable so i probably should not be doing this but i guess we'll find out right now refrigerate it for like 15 minutes and then i'm gonna put it out on the tray put one less tablespoon of flour because i want them to be a bit softer and a bit gooey when i make them they usually like they have a crumb i like my cookies like crispy on the outside gooey on the inside this is a bit more of like a crumb cakey cookie so I'm hoping that by adding one less tablespoon of flour, I get the desired chewiness. But maybe I'll freeze it. I'll freeze it for like 15 minutes and see what happens. Guys, I've blown through. This is my third cookie. Ready? Here's no go. Exactly what I wanted. I will link the recipe down below. And you guys please. Thursday. Today is Thursday the 19th of October and this hair is an accurate depiction of how I've been feeling <laughs> lately. I have tried to start this vlog so many times and I've started it, I've made the intro and then I've just not done anything. But I'm ready to get back into creating content for YouTube and <clears throat> every time I start something happens so either I've been feeling anxious and not really been doing that much or I just genuinely haven't had that much on or imminent World War 3 um, has been sending me so that's kind of a general consensus of how I've been feeling since I've been back from my travels yet yeah, now I'm ready to hunker down today I'm going to Pilates it's my first time doing reformer Pilates so I'm really excited and um, it's at the gym that I normally go to. Very, very cool. Um, and then John has a gig. So what I'm gonna do is go to Shoreditch House in the morning, do a bit of work, head to the class, come back, eat, head to the gig. Or maybe I'll work here, go to the class, eat at Shoreditch House, come home, shower change, whatever. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, we're gonna do some kind of rebalancing recalibrating stuff this weekend tomorrow i have the day to myself i don't really feel like posting content on instagram right now because it just doesn't really feel appropriate and on saturday i have yoga i'm hanging out with aisha and then she's coming with me and my family to go axe throwing which is gonna be quite funny because i'm going with my cousins and then sunday we have quicksand so it's gonna be a nice like weekend vlog hi friends 
Um, okay, so I have some time before I need to leave for the gym, or I had some time before I need to leave for the gym, um, and I wanted to show you some empties, which I have really enjoyed over the past few months, weeks, some new products that came in in PR, and some of my favourite products that I have been loving for the last month or so. Things first, I painted my nails yesterday this like apple red colour. I am obsessed. The colour is Knoll Street or Noel Street from Nails Inc. My friend used to work for them and she sent me so many of their polishes. This came in a Christmas set and it smells minty. But if you're able to get your hands um, on Noel Street or Noel Street, however you say it, as an individual, highly, highly recommend this red. Um, their polishes usually last me about 10 days. Um, and I use their base coat and top coat as well. And I've been using a strengthener. Hold on, let me go and get it. I've been using Nail Teaks um, Formula 2 Plus. So it's like a nail protein. Um, because as you guys know, this is my bum now. It's actually grown out. This has really helped with strengthening my nails. They don't really split often, but they split less when I use this. And they feel really, really strong. Let's get into empties first. I'll show you what I've been loving over the past few months. The Bioma Brightening Toner. This is so good. It has lactic acid, birch extract, and barrier lipids. I found this exfoliated my skin extremely well, and my skin was always bright and glowy when I used this. And I actually think I prefer it to the Pixi Glow Tonic, which I used for years and years, and that's really saying something. So I need to top up on this today, actually. Um, actually, I don't. I have another toner in the new end stuff. But once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna go back to this. We'll see it after balm that I got gifted in New York and it was done by the time I came home from Barcelona. <laughs> I really, really enjoy this. I'm a huge fan of Priming Moisturiser Rich anyway. This is just like a super rich formula that I use all over face and body. And John, who has oily skin, used this too, and it didn't break him out, so that's a plus. Um, I really, really like this, and I like that it's glass with a tin lid. It feels very old school. Old school blue Nivea in a tin. That's what it reminds me of. And the last empty is the Mayal rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil infused with biotin and encourages growth this went viral on tiktok and it's a really nice hair oil I do put oil on my scalp they say you shouldn't put oil on your scalp but not only is my scalp prone to flakiness when it's clean because it's dry even though i use hydrating products it gets dry and flaky when it's um a bit dirty so this is great and i'm going to be repurchasing this for sure too then for new in something that I've been using already, the Thayer's Facial Toner. So I went roller skating with Thayer's before I went away. Aisha invited me and they gave us this really, really lovely gift package and they decked out the whole of um, Flipper's Roller Rink in like their branding and the stuff had on like Thayer's t-shirts. It was very cool. And I've heard so much about the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula t Facial Toner from like the old school days of beauty YouTube. So very, very, excited to finally be using this probably about 10 years later this is the ph balancing daily cleanser with five percent filet of aloe vera and sodium hyaluronic that's hyaluronic acid is a soak your skin 80 hour liquid moisturizer deep hydration baylor feels there with snow mushroom hyaluronic acid and shea butter for normal to dry skin so this is like a super hydrating um, moisturizer in a liquid form which i've actually been enjoying these formulas over the summer so curious to see how stuff like this performs for my skin in the winter. From the Inky list, I got the Peptide Plumping Lip Balm. I've tried it a few times. I need to consistently use it. I can't say that I've felt any plumping though. You know, I haven't felt any plumping, but um, it does feel very nice on. My only criticism so far is that it's quite, uh, how can I describe it? If I say oily or greasy, that's gonna come across as negative and it's not what I mean, but there's quite a lot of slip to it. Whereas right now I'm wearing the Disciple one and yes, there is slip, but it doesn't feel like, you know, I have a lip oil on. Cultured kindly sent me some bits. I got this Cultured Biome Care Fortitude Face Mist. I used this on the plane when I was traveling and it was very, very hydrating. So easy, happy with that. This feels really nice. It's a Biome One Rich Cream, which I think is what the P3 
PR package was about. It says replenish, strengthen and renew. There's no information about the ingredients on the bottle. This is glass, it feels so nice. So I'm gonna have everything, all the properties listed on screen for you to see. And this cute little face oil, again, this looks like a, it's five ml, so it looks like a press sample. And then lastly, getting into some favorites, the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Rebecca had this when I was in Chicago. I needed a body moisturizer because I didn't pack one and I used hers for the 10 days that I was there. And the formula is great. It doesn't have a lot of oil or slip, but your skin does feel hydrated. I always use body moisturizers with oil in any case, but this is for dry to very dry skin. I really like this. It's unscented, which easy. Next is the Glossier Milky Jelly Soap Bar. I got this in New York in PR package and I love the Milky Jelly Gel Cleanser for my face. So the fact that they made a conditioning face and body wash in a bar form, stunning. The only thing I find difficult is, I have a little ledge in my shower. I don't have like separate storage in the shower. So I find that when I use bar soaps, if I leave them in there, they just get wasted and turn to mush because they're just wet all the time. So this one, I apply on my mitt and then straight away put it out of the shower. I need to find a solution for it because I don't like leaving it in the shower cubicle. But love that, been using it all over. I'm pretty sensitive down there and it's non-irritating so far. Ages ago, I bought, bought toothpaste from Spotlight Oral Care. I bought the whitening toothpaste. In my opinion, whitening toothpaste doesn't exist. Um, but these teeth whitening strips are so good. I don't like to use this kind of stuff for too long because I have patches of where the enamel's missing on my teeth. And if you use them, for too, anyway, whatever, it's a whole thing. My teeth are a whole thing. And this is one of the few things that I can do right now before all of my surgeries are done that I can do to like, help me feel better about my teeth. And I will say that these for sure work. My teeth were very slightly sensitive after using. I did not leave it on for the full hour. I left it on for about 25, 30 minutes. Um, but highly recommend the Spotlight Oral Care. And last thing, my absolute, absolute favorite thing is the Byredo Tobacco Mandarin Scent. Rebecca bought me this as a gift when I was in Chicago and I'm so in love with the scent. I've been in love with it since I smelled it probably about two, three years ago and have always said, when I can afford it, I'm gonna buy a, myself a bottle of one of the Byredo extracts. And this is my number one scent and oh my God. It's so beautiful. It's rich, it's warm, it's fresh. And it just smells really close. Like. If I were to smell this on someone else, it would make me want to get like right up in their neck and like smell them. And this is how I feel about myself when I wear it. I just want to smell myself constantly. It's such a beautiful fragrance. And yes, it's one of the Byredo extracts, so it's very, very expensive. Hence me putting off buying it for myself. But I'm so thankful to Rebecca for buying this for me. And now whenever I spare it, I think about my time in Chicago with her and her family. And the fact that we run a fucking cool business together and we're both happy doing it. Now is my time to put shoes on and leave to go to the gym. I will check in with you guys later because John has a gig tonight. So we're gonna go down to the New Cross Inn and see him play. Alrighty friends. I need to get ready to go to this show, John's gig tonight. Um, I'm gonna do my hair in braids because it's pouring rain and I'm gonna put a hat on. My scalp is drier than dry drier than the Sahara because I washed my hair at my mum's house at the weekend. I didn't have my products. I knew this would happen and of course it happened. My hair was super fluffy, like too clean if that makes sense. My scalp was dry as hell and so now I'm using an extra good skin from Disciple because it has prebiotic um, and bites bacteria and that should help my crunchy scalp. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do two braids. My day was kind of scuppered because, of course, there is roadworks on one of the like busiest junctions in 
kind of probably the whole borough of Hackney, between Hackney and Tower Hamlets. And not only that, but my bus had to wait for the next driver to come so he could change over and the driver didn't show up, which is awesome. So by the time I got on a bus that could take me to the gym, the class was starting in 12 minutes and it just wasn't gonna happen. So I gave up on that idea. Um, I looked like a creature from the 80s, but I'm gonna figure this out and then I will check in with you guys to show you the outfit before I leave. I need to leave quick because John is on at seven and it's almost six already. overhead like daylight lights on in my flat because it's starting to get dark already so yeah hopefully you can see the outfit um because technically i am backlit but maybe if i stand further away and take some layers off you can see this jumper is from little high little low we just launched it last week it is the danzig knit in black it also comes in a really nice light heather grey. The fabric is perfect. I'm wearing a large um, because I wanted it to hit my knuckles and be oversized. I do actually need to steam it because it has been washed and worn and tossed around in my clothes on my bedroom floor because what's new. Um, but I'm loving this. It's super soft. It is part wool and it's not scratchy. I'm someone that's crazy about wool and how it feels and if it's too itchy I'm not on board. So. Um, yeah, this is the Danzig Knit and Large. Then I'm wearing these vintage leather straight leg, maybe they're very slightly tapered uh, trousers. But I found these earlier this year in a secondhand shop on Brick Lane. And then these Jordan ones, they're white, but they are like a snake print. The Chicago White Sox hat that I got from Lids in Chicago. And I had them bend the brim for me because I wanted it to fit like closer to my head here um but this the store attendant was super helpful in helping me find the right size and the right shape because there are a few different shapes of the new era hats if you didn't know um then i'm wearing it with my old trusty edwin bomber jacket it's not even cold outside today I had a high of 18 but it felt so chilly in certain spots I don't get it and it's also like 80% humidity which is why I've got these crazy braids that make me look 15 years old but um yeah this is going to be warm enough and it's light enough that I can like take my jumper off inside the gig and keep the jacket on and tie this around my shoulders if I feel like it um I need to go to the toilet and leave because John is playing in an hour <laughs> Yeah!